Welcome to Game. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Live. GT Live. GT Live. GT Live. GT Live. Hey, you're not Stephanie. I'm not Stephanie. I'm Jason. You're hairier than she is. Maybe a little. It's got a little scruff, <laughs> man. Way to, yeah. way to not shave your beard for a I while. Know. You always ask me to be on these live streams like last minute on my worst looking days. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I haven't shaved in like two weeks. Came in halfway through the day. I think I think you look delightfully uh, scruffy with, oh, with the beard. You. It looks good on you. Not everyone can pull off like the scruff beard. You're, you're, you're doing good. Or grow the scruff beard. I can grow <laughs> facial hair just because I'm very diligent about my shaving. Thank you very much. I am a very hairy guy at heart. I just hide it well. Your heart's hairy? Yes. Okay. It is. It's That's a weird, weird. biological a anomaly. Condition. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty much a medical miracle. So guess what I can't do again? Uh, log into Twitter. Yeah, that one. <laughs> because they're like, oh my gosh, who is this person using Twitter? Yep, that one. Man. I'm sorry Every to hear Every time th I have to relearn my password. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, Jason hops on Twitter like once a year, and every year it's like, ah, well, it's my pass. You don't you have like your rotation of passwords, or save it onto your computer or something? I do, and for some reason it's like never that password. unacceptable. So anyway, Jason's sitting on the couch today because Stephanie is needed to deal with some of the mold stuff at the house. Uh, so the, for those of you who know or don't know, basically over the last couple weeks we've been dealing with all sorts of issues with mold taking over the entirety of our first floor of the house. Um, it started as like, hey, there seems to be some leakage happening underneath this window and we're seeing like some of the, the wall sagging a little bit, some of like the paint on the wall mm -hmm. sagging like it would if you had drips running down. Then it's like, oh wait, there's a little bit of mold, strangely, that appeared like overnight at the base of that wall. That's strange, let's pop open the wall. Oh wait, the insulation is literally black from like years worth of uh, mold and the framing is soaked. That's odd. Oh, the floor is now warped. And uh, one, and then it's like, oh, let's rip open the floor. Oh wait, and underneath the floorboards, the plywood is literally rotting away and is black with mold. Oh wait, now the entire kitchen has mold on the walls um, as we slowly remove cabinet by cabinet. Uh, so right now we have no first floor whatsoever. Our kitchen is entirely gone. Uh, so we are minus one kitchen, but we're also minus all the mold. Yay, Yay. mold's gone. So I don't know, it's like taking a bazooka to like a, a pimple or something. I don't know, like, that was a weird analogy, yeah, but it that's, was. that's basically what are it is. Are you reframing? Yeah. Or focusing? Is it a focus thing? Is it a thing? focus thing? Or Chris, are you just focus. Close? Focus is something you struggle with. It is. What do I want? But meanwhile, Jason still, uh, Chris struggles with focus, Jason struggles with passwords, I struggle with mold. Uh, so anyway... Uh, we all have something. Yeah, we all have our issues, <laughs> don't we? So anyway, uh, when it rains, it pours, and then it pours, and the water seeps into our house and causes mold, and then, you know, because we have a baby and a cat and we value our health, we ended up living out of, you know, out of the office for the entire weekend, which was fun. Skip became an office cat. That was fun for everyone, but uh, she needed to hop back to the house and deal with some of the stuff that's happening there. So anyway, long story short, that's where we're at. Uh, that's why Stephanie's not here. And we're joined by Jason, Woo! who is super excited. I am, and I got Twitter working. So wow! I'm doubly excited. You're welcome for vamping long enough. Hey, Thank you, I appreciate that. You know what? S congratulate Jason for using Twitter and figuring out how to use Twitter uh, with too. the hashtag GT Live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this is a clock. It sure is. It's very an innate, uh, very innate, uh, not innate. Ornate. Ornate, that's the word, because I'm tired. I've been sleeping <laughs> on an air mat. So Steph and I, again, like I said, we've been sleeping here um, for the last couple days uh, over the weekend on the air mattress that we first got when we first moved out to California before we had a bed. And it is, cramped and it is an air mattress so it's not particularly comfortable and uh it was cold so it was not a particularly restful weekend for me. note there are also three couches here and they chose to sleep on the air mattress that is very old to say the least it's very old <laughs> it's very old at this point um 
Yeah, couches. I feel like couch would have been a better option. It's cold here. Like the couches are in the cold parts. Mm, like that's it gets true. cold at night. You know. I mean, Chris and Mai's office stays like pretty warm it's and because, that has a couch in it. It's because you guys are cuddling all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, hey, uh, today we're playing so the, the Sorrow Virus? The no, Sorrow Virus. Not to be confused with the Norovirus. Correct. Uh, Do the Sorrow Virus. A faceless <laughs> short story. Okay, is, that, is, is Faceless the company, or what is a Faceless short story? So Faceless, I believe, is like either the game franchise or like a greater game coming out. This is an, a pretty long demo, actually. Ah. Oh, a long demo. So today we're playing Sorrow Virus, a Faceless short story, the long demo edition. Uh, you can engage, hashtag GT Live, or uh, in the chat, which I'm sure you're doing right now. Jason forgot to open up the chat. Don't worry. You, you know what? It's, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. I, got it. you, I will need to make sure I turn down the sound here before you, you I click started, on this. You started today with a migraine. I you know. didn't get a shave. I understand. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, th this is this is the plan for today. We're hopping into this. Where did you find this one, Chris? Can you say it again? Where'd Where did you find this one? Um, I found this one on the YouTubes. I heard that 8-Bit Ryan voiced a, in a game and I wanted to check it out. Uh -huh. I did, and it's pretty cool. Is so, it spooky? It's a little spooky. It's more like interesting. It's spooky in the same way Bendy is spooky. You okay. know, it's not gonna scare the, the poo out of you, but it's gonna be a little, a little, woo. That's unfortunate because I am constipated. No, that's not what? true. <laughs> that's not oh. true. That's like, scare the poo out. Don't worry, wouldn't that encourage you to sit next to me? No, because you gotta come out at any if time. Not, I'm not like Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, it can come out at any time. And you are constantly like pulling the slot machine handle, being like, I hope it's not this time. <laughs> and then the one time you do, you're like, oh no! Oh, babies. So we're playing Sorrow Virus, a faceless short story. Let's hop into it. All uh, right. E for keyboard, X for controller. We have a keyboard. Mm -hmm. So. If I were to begin my life again, I would have started a Let's Play channel earlier. I should yeah. want it as it was. I would only open my eyes. It's true. If I could do it all, I would only open my eyes a little more. Jules Renard. I think it's Jules. Jules Renard. Jules. Ah, Miss McLeod. I've told you before, you can call me Ken. It's good that this is subtitled. You can call me of course, Alice. Any news? It's an indie game. I'm the girl always has to be named Alice. Alice. As a reference White to Alice in Wonderland. Hand once again, as expected. His visits to purgatory don't seem to be alleviating his ailment. Again. Oh. I'm hopeful his trips there give him some comfort. At least every time he comes back, he experiences some modicum of normality. No. His cancer returns quicker and quicker after each visit, Caleb. Hmm. Purgatory doesn't heal everything. We were wrong. What shall we do? We keep trying. The consequences of the sorrow virus cannot be reversed, or at least we just don't know how to undo its ramifications. This isn't fair on Wyatt. He's my death. son. We will keep trying. Huh. Sorry. Oh, this is heavy already. Make him comfortable. And if you have to, let him die quickly. Maybe the next time he comes back will be different somehow. We need to finish our research on purgatory and the soulless as soon as possible. Understood? Yes, sir. Huh. All right. That's really interesting. So it seems like this is a world in which... Oh, it's totally starting off with Bendy. There's even like a tally mark on the side. This is how many times I've done this loop, mm -hmm. right? No, no you're dolls. Sanity, well, thank goodness. My sanity levels are adequate. Excellent, glad to hear. So yeah, I'm assuming that this is the number of times, like, okay, so let's, let's talk about what we just saw, right? So we just saw that we're in this world in which a medical procedure exists mm -hmm. called purgatory, which is, it sounds like it's kind of like, like a healing coma. Also, like you're, you're like you're falling, like you're falling into a coma, and they're either 
performing medical tests on you while that's happening, or like while you're in here, you could come out healed? Is that right? I, mm, I think it's more literal. He says, let him die. No, he says, let him die, but I think when there, he comes back around. I think they're implying that he's actually going to the purgatory. The real purgatory. Really? And then he's dying, and then... And they're thinking that, oh, because he died, that he will, when they revive him, he'll be cured. That's what I got. When they revive him in, like, in the game, or, like, medically? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Like, they're bringing him back to life? Like, he's being reborn, but not really reborn? Interesting. Huh. Chris, what is it? Are we interpreting this right, or what? Um, yes. Kind of. A little bit. I don't want to give it away. Okay, oh, okay. fair enough. Hey! Fr friend! Friendbo! 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 Is this, this isn't related to Franbo at all, right? No, that's just a nice little reference. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Oh, a lot of pills. I mean, it's sort of related to Franbo. Look at all these pills. hey -oh. Here's another creepy doll. Pixie. I don't really recognize that one. I wonder if that's uh -huh. another reference to another indie game, game that we haven't played. Ooh, classical artwork. The ones you left behind. That's how you know they're sophisticated. Know Your Dolls. Oh, so Know Your Dolls is a reference to, I would assume, knowing Franbo, mm -hmm. the game, and then, I don't know, Pixie, Pixie, unfortunately. That is locked, okay. Hello. Ooh, hello. They're watching me! <laughs> Psych! Getting out of your sight range! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ooh, inter wait. Whoa. What can I interact with? Yes. The camera? Can I interact with the camera? Is that what it's trying to tell me? No. Which? I don't recognize that. That one looks familiar. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really recognize it. The face looks a bit unusual. I don't remember it. The ones you left behind. Okay. Oh, here we go. The dolls became popular in the hit 1940s cartoon, Dottore and the Dastardly Demons. It featured the, ca the cast of Windy Pixie, Witch, Bella, and the leading character, Dr. Dottore. Guest stars from other cartoons frequented the show. In the 1990s, the show was rebooted as Windy and the Wondersome Web Tales, as the dolls found their way inside of the internet to rescue a character, new character. Windy became the new lead, and Dottore made it known that he wasn't happy about this. The reboot wasn't successful, however, and it was canceled after two seasons as opposed to ten seasons for the original cartoon. The dolls were mass-produced as collectible toys, which included both a voice box and a music box within. Heil purchased a great deal of these dolls in the 1970s, which is believed to be the cause of the cartoon's eventual reboot 20 years later. So we're learning about, hmm. like, old cartoons as well? That's interesting and unexpected. Oh, oh, jeez! Oh, what the? <laughs> what the heck? Hey, guys. Hi. So we've got a, we've got a Plague Knight over here. She's trying to wave at you. We've got Plague Knight, Franbo. Hi. Hello. Oh, I, I can move again. Hi. That was great. Is it, is, is it Plague Knight or is that Plague Doctor? I mean, he's a plague doctor, but... Okay. But you're making a reference I'm making to a the reference. Character. I'm making a reference, okay. Jason. It's called, it's called being topical and relevant mm -hmm. with modern gaming. Especially indie gaming. Okay, so that's... That was surprising. And unexpected. <laughs> yeah, I don't recognize... Whoa. some of the other. Oh, poor Franbo. Hey, I'd, I'd like to help you. Can't really do much for you, though, buddy. Enter. That one's also locked. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Bella. Hmm. Cool. Oh, here we go. Audio log? I'm Renee Hale, and um, my husband tends to be the one who does these dictations, but lately I felt compelled to do the same. Wyatt has suffered long enough. Ever since we gave him the sorrow virus, oh. death has been absolutely nothing but a temporary solution for him. I wondered if we could alter the sorrow virus. 
but Caleb told me we can't modify it to what happened to his sister when he was younger. It changed her drastically. Hmm. She's still out there, somewhere. Uh oh, it's our villain. That's our spooky, it's our spooky ghost friend. My, my sister or Caleb's sister? That's why the pronoun game is so dangerous. <laughs> May cast for spooky ookie boys night. It is a spooky <laughs> ookie boys night. We're gonna be terrified by the end of this. <laughs> oh, hey! Look, the little dolls are having a grand old time all over the place. Hello, oh. After listening to a digital recorder, interactive symbols like these appear. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Burn my hand. It's oh, fine. Wait, can you go back and forth between worlds? Yeah. Ooh, I have to hold it. It's like Frambo. Oh, man, we're in the tree world now. Just like in Franbo, Ithigenia land or whatever it was. That was so long ago. How do you remember that? It, it wasn't. It, it started with Ithi something or other. It was too complicated to say. We could never say it on the stream anyway. All right, so let's see. I saw this first before we start moving out of this room. After asserting, uh, or sorry, after assessing the body camera footage and audio from Wyatt's uh, latest visits to purgatory, so they can track me in this purgatory state, right? We understand that he's become overwhelmed with guilt for, for ignoring the dolls scattered around Wakeland City. This has caused the dolls to appear in his unique purgatory construct, which has allowed us to further understand that emotions and memories do print onto the environment in a hyper-realistic manner. During assessment zero, we ascertained that Wyatt had been chasing after a single doll that he believes to contain his own soul. It's entirely conceivable that his dreams and nightmares also print onto the construct, allowing for fantasies such as these, wherein he believes that he can set himself free from these important experiments. Hmm, okay. There we go. Oh, hello. Well, that's just an the odd place. That, that's, that's, <laughs> this is like Chris's style of lighting. Like, oh yeah, if we hang it upside down, it'll, it'll get the perfect angle on you, Matt. It'll be, it'll be great. So, I, so basically, I believe that my soul in these purgatory states is trapped in a doll. Mm -hmm. And that this like, it's like this endless cycle of kind of rebirth to try and heal me. Cool. Man, no one ever, whether ever it's- cleans up? Whether it's purgatory or like my death anime. <coughs> Hello. I'm not spying on, no, oh, you are bound up. That is unfortunate. I, I would love to help. If you, well, hello. What's in there? <laughs> we, maybe I shouldn't be spying on this creature in the shower. <laughs> maybe, maybe they, they created this wall for their own benefit. Maybe, maybe I'm the villain here, right? Like, why don't we let the creepy dolls do their business in the bathroom, shall we? No need to actually peek in on anyone. Here, let me. Can I in your shadow. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I like. Oh, you'll see it through the mirror. Man, so many pills everywhere. No one cleans up their stuff. No one cleans up their bathroom. Wow, this is the toilet, man. All right. Very cool. Great. Again, no one no one has any pride of ownership over anything. Probably mold row. No, oh. I can't go this way yet. I'm not ready. Well, that's... Those um, are the symbols, though, right? That you get from the tape recorder? No, I can't go this way yet. I'm not ready. Yeah, it seems like it. I bet you. Yeah. yeah, as we unlock different things, it'll mm -hmm. like... Press free up. Oh. Very that's nifty that's suitcase. Nope, can't go out there. Right? Can you not just move the suitcase out of the way? No. So suitcase very it's locked in place. It's very heavy suitcase. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it is not gonna meet the baggage <laughs> weight limit requirements. We're gonna be paying the fifty dollars extra to make sure that that one gets on board. Ooh, the clock. Oh, here we go. Don't forget to check in with the clock. Yeah, I will. Let me read the wall. First, I can't forget to check in on the writing on the wall. <laughs> Sorrow kill. Sorrow. Save yourself key? You feel key. Saw. Save. Save yourself. Save yourself. Sorrow. Is key? Yeah. Sorrow is key. Sorrow is key. It's like the opposite of joy. We happy few. Where to die. 
Is that is there right something where? before where though? Is this say nowhere? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Your sanity's slipping. I guess, or I'm just, or I just have really bi bad eye, like, wow. or I just ah. have really bad eyesight. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just really farsighted. <laughs> like, oh great, it's in focus farsighted. Oh um. no, where are my bifocal lenses? I need my bifocals. Damn it. Uh, okay. I feel like this is a fire hazard. Also, all these candles are sitting around. Oh, these are also checkpoints. Okay, E the check-in with the grandfather clock. This reminds me of the grandfather clock my family owned. Yeah? A little bit, yeah. We had to, you had to wind it once a week. It's classic. Grandfather clock is really cool. Alright. Well, I guess I, I, I checked Wait, in. maybe your sanity's back. Go stare at that wall Here. again. Oh. Nope. Huh. Nope, I still need my buff, my bifocals. <laughs> still, if only I could rip up this ivy and read the rest of this mysterious message. Curse my lack of tree trimming abilities. Uh, okay. No eyes. Okay. A lot, lot of stuff hanging around, but not a lot of stuff I can interact with. Picked up a lighter. Yay. No indie game is complete without a lighter. Don't really have a solid idea of how to use it. Probably not that way. That was not the Q <laughs> is not the way to uh, use the item. I've learned. No, 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 no. I say yes, 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 yes. But the lock says no, no, no as well. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> you left us abandoned by God. Down. <laughs> right. Just the basement is abandoned okay, right. by God. The upstairs <laughs> right. is totally fine. <laughs> right, everything else is doing great. Ooh, here we go. More reading. It's remarkable that Wyatt has not contra has hasn't contra hasn't contracted PSD, permanent sleep deprivation, thus far. He's undertaken a greater number of visits to purgatory than all our other test subjects combined. Perhaps the subjects require some pre-existing conditions in order for the paranormal nature of purgatory to have an effect on them. Being a semi being a semi-physical space, so it is somewhat mm -hmm. based in reality, purgatory contains elements that we cannot research in order to determine a cause or a cure. We're close to a breakthrough. Subject Zero injured him herself or her last on her last excursion to purgatory and returned with a deep cut. After swabbing the wound and examining it closely with the proper instruments, we found substances previously unknown to mankind. Mm. Oops, that was the wrong one. That Q again. That was Q. I apologize. I just really want to show off the functionality of the Q. Nope, that was escape that time. <laughs> this is resume. There. Nope. Want to get... Nope. E. Mouse it's, Okay, it's oh, E. Okay. It's E. Just, there's a, there's a pretty extreme delay. Okay, what do we got? Hello. Creepy doll. Oh. Man, everyone's got their bags packed. <laughs> They're making fun of the way you say doll. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tarat Tarnished Dragon. <laughs> She's a witch. Burn her! The, the, the doll. Everyone always makes fun of me for... My Midwestern. How do you say it? Jason? Doll. Yeah, doll. Right, that's what I'm saying. Doll. Tell me, tell me if you think I say it funny. Motel? So we're in a motel. Interesting. Okay. So I can crouch. There's the motel sign. Great. Let's move around. So I guess we're going to go down to the uh, abandoned by God basement. That's cool. May have been abandoned by God, but it hasn't been abandoned by me as I explore the purgatory. Ooh, that's nice. Move and push the obstacle. Go. Push. Heave. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Nailed thorn. Whoa! Whoa! Chris, it's like Kingdom Hearts! This? Whoa! Yes. It's us in Kingdom Hearts! This is amazing! I worked on this for months. <gasps> oh! This is so good! Look at it! It's got Winnie the Pooh and Diet Coke. Oh, World of Warcraft. Skyrim. Got some Pokemon. This is amazing. This is Akili Amethyst on Twitter. This is great. Sorry, oh, we we're go. sorry we're interrupting, but this is awesome. Oh, 
It's so great. Sorry, I just Stephanie, really wanted to show this. Stephanie off. represents film theory, and I represent game theory. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is incredible! <gasps> and the like, the detail is so good. Right? You have like Bill Cipher and Avengers, Minecraft. Oh, the references are amazing in this. I this like is beautiful. The, Thank the you so much. I get to check in with the clock. Oh, this is so good. Sorry, that they're getting mad at me now in the game. They're like, <laughs> check the clock, Matt. And I'm like, no, I'm looking at fan art. Sorry. Nailed, Nailed thorn. thorn. We do have to, um, Chris, I know we're Ooh, working. Canada. I know we're, right? We're in Canada. That's exciting to know. I know that we're working on a, the new intro and stuff, but we also got to figure out the solution for showing off fan art again. Yes. Hello. Can I watch TV? It says I can push it, or is this just pushing the thing? It might just be pushing, oh, yep, the, thing, pushing yeah. the thing. Ooh, a fan. Oh, they, it's not an indie game without a fan. When uh, well, I examined Wyatt's archive footage. Time is running out. Time is running out. Fucking clock. Oh my god. Oh really? You might have to check that clock real quick. Well, I examined Wyatt's archive footage in Wakeland City today. It seems that he stumbled across a tear in space as well as a plant on the other side. After undergoing extensive research, I can't find a single trace of what it may be. It emitted spore-like matter. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> no, actually, I want to see what happens. Oh, uh, you're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna I know. Start again at the bed. I'm curious what's gonna happen. Fight your what? What's the bottom thing? Fight your way. Oh, okay. Light, oh, light your, your way. way. Light your way. Go, do it. Do it. Do what you're gonna do, clock! I'm ready! Time is running out! It's just gonna be a whole bunch of build up or nothing like that. Just... Maybe. It's getting louder. More exciting. Bring it on, clock. I ain't afraid of you. I'm already kind of dead in this semi purgatory state thing. It's very unclear, kind of. All right, well, you're taking your sweet time, so I'm just gonna continue ignoring you and finish reading this little diary. After, under, after undergoing extensive research, you can't find a single trace of what it may be. It emitted spore-like matter, which is reminiscent of the sorrow virus. I'll ask Wyatt about it during our assessment six. Oh, 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 oh. Time runs rampant in purgatory when left unchecked. Interact with the grandfather clock whenever you find one to keep track of the time. Still giving me my, my nifty little overlay here, though. Mm -hmm. Our like informant that. in WC, in the water closet, <laughs> it's weird that your informant's hanging out in the toilet, assured us that he could no longer find any trace of sorrow virus. This might confirm our theory that it does not come from our realm, but some plane of existence where a number of those creatures originated. That could be why sorrow virus is so lethal to them and not to us. We should locate and harvest the plant matter and abandon the unstable synthetic variant ASAP. Huh? I feel like sorrow virus is just depression. Oh no, it's stuck on your screen now, it, isn't it? It may be stuck oh. on the screen at this point. <laughs> Interact with another thing quickly. Oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was good. It's over! Like, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> over! <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm going to quit to the menu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you will wait, return to main menu. Why would I lose my progress? Oh, just... Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, it's permanently there. Oh, oh no, it's there on it the It got burnt menu. into the it's screen! <laughs> 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 wait, maybe if we restart. Wait, why are we restart? Oh, no. We're restarting literally the whole thing. No! Yeah, but just fly no! through it. We really did like five to ten minutes. We did so much gameplay, Jason. I don't think so. We weren't wasting time at all. <laughs> uh, Wait, somebody... why does this one say windy? This one says windy. Oh, yeah, each laser is a little different. Oh, really? Yeah. You can call me Kayla. And I said you can call me Alice. Huh. Any news? I'm afraid it's not good news, Caleb. Wyatt's cancer has returned once again. See, so he's got... His visits to purgatory don't seem to be alleviating his ailment. Again. Yeah. So he's, yeah, so he's Purple got cancer. Yep. At least every time he comes back, he experiences some modicum of normal. Purgatory is some sort of, like, middle his state quicker and quicker after each that they're able to kind of, like, purgatory doesn't be away anything. from their illness. What do we do? And it's caused by the sorrow try. virus, right? The consequences of the sorrow virus 
cannot be reversed, or at least we just don't know how to undo it. Huh, so we don't know really what the ramifications of the sorrow virus is yet. He's my son! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Of course. So we're playing Wendy's story? And if you have to, let him No, I think we're playing the son. Maybe Still Wyatt, right? Yeah. It's just, uh, it's weird that it's started with we Wendy, though. Our research on purgatory and the soulless as soon as possible. The soulless, and see? The They're like the heartless. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is basically like Kingdom Hearts 4. And it, <laughs> just, just like Kingdom Hearts 3 didn't have Final Fantasy characters, this one doesn't have Disney characters. This whole so time I was like, oh. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> just when you thought you had beaten it! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and now we've got two layers! Oh, we've got man. a layer underneath, and we've got a layer on top! We're just collecting the journal entries! We're just collecting the journal entries on top of themselves! <laughs> oh, uh, did you solve it? What, what, no, I don't think so. No. No, you didn't. Look, we've got so many letters. This is actually just the letter storage system now mm -hmm. at this point. There we go, look at this. Uh, so, we're so good demos. at this game. Look, three! We got three, how many layers? It's like those, it's like all those videos on YouTube. Can you beat Mario 3 without touching a coin? This one is, can, can you, you beat Sorrow Virus by collecting all the letters? <laughs> <laughs> all stacked up on top of each other. Uh, here, I'm gonna quit to desktop yeah. real quick. Yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry that we're gonna have to go that this. it doesn't screw up the game. Third time's a charm! So you guys know we were late because <laughs> we couldn't get the game to interact with the feed to send out to you guys. Oh, really? So hopefully, is that, is hopefully that what the, the was? game will start that normally. That yeah, that's why Chris was real worried about backing <laughs> out of it just now. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Wait, where is it, by it's the way? It's in the middle, right next can, to Tony. Can, can you show that again? I know that we Tone. show this. Can, can we, like, come up with an... Uh, guys, I've... Le sorry. We're going to have an intervention here I don't, right now. I don't guys, understand I your don't, problem with this like system. <laughs> Look, find the blank spot. I've let you run this. Uh, this computer is yours. You're allowed to run it however you want. Might I recommend just... Some sure, you can always recommend. Might I recommend some organizational stuff? There like, is. System. Look, look, find the blank spot. There, okay. Right there's the blank spot. Our right game is f is four to the left. <laughs> but, but, if you'll notice, <laughs> it's, it's not if you notice, right below the blank spot, yeah. there's a folder there. It says Delta Rune Fan Games. Below that, there's another oh, folder wait. called Fan Games. I bet you those folders have fan games in them. So, that has some level of organization <laughs> right there. <laughs> I, I love that Delta Room fan games and fan games. Like, see, fan games should be the, the top line folder. And then within the fan game folder, you might want to put Delta Room fan games. That's an extra games. step. You got to click through the folder yeah, for that. We're using the blank spot as our North Star for the destiny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is your Polaris. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh man! I don't know if you can hear me. Wait, what? This is like Just a little intro trailer. Fighting. Oh, we missed this. You missed this. Uh, you don't. <laughs> oh, why do I? I this is what happens when I don't micromanage everything. God. If I could turn back time. I was gonna say, I bet. Oh, is that me? Is that why? If I could turn back time. Over and over again. Oh. I'll never end. No, you didn't think this was important to show? Beginning of the stream. It was more this about. Is, I'm I'm glad that we had to restart the game. This seems like it was important. It was more about whether or not the game would glitch out if we backed out of it again. Sure. Which is what we were worried about. I, I I get that. I also love the fact that when I'm like, "What is faceless?" and you're like, "I think it's this." The sorrow virus is a short story for faceless, an upcoming supernatural mystery on the Unreal Engine Four. 
the story. Let, you know. Oh my. Oh, and people wonder why I'm a control freak. Cause like, cause you know, cause I pay attention to the details. The story is loosely connected to Faceless and his four end four mold lendings. Strive to find the true ending or endure the sorrow forever. Oh God. I'm okay. gonna put that one on Chris. Whatever. You asked Chris what this was. It was a game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, these are the people that I get the unique pleasure of working with. <laughs> e for keyboard, let's do it again, third time. Hey, if this is a game about resetting Different, your yeah. life over and over again, welcome. This is a very meta version of that. We're just, you know, we're playing a game that's all about resetting, and it's a live stream where we're resetting over and over. It's, you know, it's, it's a meta commentary on this game. It's art. It's artwork. Let's watch this amazing cutscene one more time. This, you know what? Okay. Oh, it's Mr. Heil. McLeod. I've told you before, you it's also worth noting uh, that this is the, an example of uh, Chris's mm -hmm. camera skills. This is how Chris, this is Chris's version of keeping things in focus. Well, yeah, except there, there's too much motion going on too. Like <laughs> it would be blurry. Camera movement right now, it'd be just stagnant and blurry. I'm hopeful his trips there give him. It's true. I like my blurry images still. Some modicum of normality. You would think that, like, if the camera stayed still, it would be easier to focus. But Chris thinks that that would be too easy. In fact, he strives to really. What Make it do? as blurry as possible, as still as possible. We keep trying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, this is a good opportunity for you to hop into the chat or Twitter. I Jason. thought you wanted to well, rewatch all of this beginning again. Son, we will be Somebody, look at He's this. He's my son. Yes. I'm sorry. Of course. Make him comfortable. Please. What were you gonna say? On Twitter? <laughs> look at this. Let him die quickly. This tar, tar at Tarnished Dragon. <laughs> Chris, can you pull up this tweet? It's great. <laughs> God, I'm totally wearing the same outfit from the last two. The shirt is the shirt is different. I'll show that off in a second here. The shirt is the undershirt is different. <laughs> this is different. It's the same thing. But I apparently. <laughs> Didn't shave then either. You you look identical. And very then you as look well. identical. Uh -huh, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. I it's like we just <laughs> photoshopped the background a little it bit. It is. It's amazing. Oh, that's really funny. Hey, my sanity levels are adequate again. Great. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Here, let's. Hey, we don't have words on the screen. Wow, look, we don't have words on the screen. Look, there are dolls. Uh oh, spooky dolls from this children's show. Oh no, it's oh. so spooky and scary. Okay. Wow, check that, that was... door. That door's locked. <laughs> oh, let's check this door too. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh, the dial shrunk. That's weird. Ooh, Whoa, let's listen recording. to audio logs. Let's seriously though, let's listen to audio. There we go. I'm Renee Hale, and um, is there anything else? Like this I is serial. I spent a lot of time talking to you. I yeah, making so. bad jokes. Do the same. Yeah, we laughed real quick. Fran. Ever since we gave him the sorrow virus. Death has been absolutely nothing but a temporary solution for him. I wondered if we could alter the sorry virus, but Caleb told me we can't modify it. Due to what happened to his sister when he was younger, it changed her windy. drastically. So that's windy. She's mm -hmm. still out there, huh? somewhere. So that's windy, and then so who's, the who's doctor. this? Datore, Doctor Datore. Plague Doctor. Okay, Look, I would like to. Which doll is this? Okay, here we go. Come on. Okay. Nope. Why? Why does it take multiple times to like hop in? It's weird. It wanted to make sure you wanted to do it. Yeah, think, just double, just double time. checking. Yeah. Like to to hit it home. Okay, so. You went and spied on that guy in the shower. Yeah, we spy on the shower guy. Yeah. Here we go. Whoa, hey, that's weird and creepy. Hi. Hey, doll girl. Turn, Who's... Alice. Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. there he is. Go. There, yeah, there. Uh -huh. there we go. Yeah. Yep, maybe you shouldn't. Did she disappear? Maybe you shouldn't look at him when he's in the shower. Oh, we got him. Okay. Great. Oh, no, I'm going to look in the shower, too. Okay, nope, nothing there. 
And you're gone now. Okay, great. Fantastic. Oh, there is a... There's a rune back there. Yeah. Right? I didn't yep. notice that before. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So there was a rune back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we checked the lock. No, I can't go this way yet. Do it, but it's I'm in now. It's interesting. The... Huh. What? Press the left mouse button when there. To use the dial. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to... That looks like the symbol that was in the bathroom, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was the filled in one, though. Hmm. Interesting. So I wonder. Because there was one with an open circle and one with a closed circle. Get out of here. Uh, oh, there was this one. Okay, here we go. Here's this. We read that about all the experiments. Okay, we're back in it. All right, check Back the in the game. We're going to speed run it. Look, sorrow is the key. Reset the time. So we kept track of time. There are no eyes. Great, fantastic. Do, do, do. Oh. Oh, hello. Hmm. That wasn't there before, was it? Was I just too slow? I to think we it? were too slow to catch it. Huh. Oh, man. Hello. Oh. Oh. Was there a rune back there? Check behind her again. One sec. Let me get this. Let me make sure I dismiss it appropriately. Doesn't seem to be a rune back there. Right? I can't tell if that's supposed to be a weird one or not. Okay, push out the holes. Go, go, go. Okay, we've opened the room. Nailed th thorn. The fan. Oh, no, it's the fan. Hey, we're in Canada. Let's have maple syrup. And this is where you messed it all up. This is where everything went south. Just fell apart. Light your way. Oh, wait, I forgot the lighter. Oh, Shoot, where's the lighter? Light Wait, where was the lighter? It was up in the room with yeah. the first clock. Right. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Run, right run, run. Right here. On that suitcase? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. You have picked up the lighter. Okay, here we go. I have I have a very short stamina, it seems like. Okay. There it is. Oh, hello. Yes, Th thank you. <laughs> okay, reset the clock. Nice, now we are back onto this. Making forward progress once again. A sibling Challenge asks, can you burn the plants? Or actually just says burn the plants. Uh, hey. Oh. Why did you kill me? What? Uh, lot, lot of. I, I'd love to give you some information, but uh, alas, I know nothing about that. So, you know, sorry. I'm assuming I'm coming. What back was on here. that side of the sign? Did right, you read that? Right, what did that say? Don't look back. Oh, well, too late. That's good to know. Don't look back down there. Yeah, I think so. All right, still nothing down there. That was just really dark down there. Soul, Soul render. render. <laughs> Sounds like surrender. No, no, no. So these are all still locked. If I could turn back time. <laughs> um, Gotta go stab in a half. I forgot that was room for Ambo. <laughs> Good memories. Yeah. So I, I guess there was more stuff to do down there then? Because it doesn't seem like anything opened up up here. I was kind of expecting it to. It was really dark downstairs though. Huh. Alright. Shoot. Trinity Funes. This game is called The Sorrow Virus. A faceless short story. Good one. What's faceless? Um, I don't remember. I think it might have been like, um... Oh, wait. Like it was either a game that this is part of, or... Oh, I get... Okay, so this game has a habit... I get this. So this game has a bit of a habit of forcing you to, like, turn around mm -hmm. to see things, and then you, you're supposed to turn back around, and the, the scenery has changed. Has changed. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's the thing that I... I'm like... 
I'm like, huh, the rules of reality don't seem to be applying to me right now. Where am I supposed to go? But I wasn't supposed to go any. Ooh. Whoa. Chug. Yes. Although that one sign did. Oh, wait, witnessing certain events will slow. Wait, really? Witnessing certain events will slow you down? What's that mean? Like in a good way? We've sent Roscoe Heather to go and look for him, for Wyatt's cousin. I'm curious to see if he'll be interested to help us after all these years. Wyatt keeps seeing his cousin's name in the poetry, or at least a jumbled version of it, huh. but I don't know why. I have all the answers he could need, and if he chooses to help us, I'll tell him everything he wants to know. All right. He's never met Wyatt before. But even I know how much that means to him. Okay. Let's speed up this radio broadcast. They got limited amounts of time. You can go in there. It's just time. No, I can't. Just... Oh. Hey. Hello, small chad. We've determined that microparticles and microorganisms can be found on the surface of our subject's clothing and skin after returning from purgatory, particularly on subject four. These, uh, this un unidentified substance actually breaks the sorrow virus down at a tremendously slow rate. We now have the foundation for a cure. We were right. Purgatory contained the key. I wonder what else this elixir can do. We'll collect and condense the substance and have a cure developed in no time at all. Finally, a uh, Catholicon for Wyatt. Let's hope we have enough time. The board of directors have discovered the anomaly is behind the global tear, <laughs> global tears. It won't be long before they intervene. Renee chose to focus solely on her son as opposed to the dormant threat to our entire world. Weird. So this is a... a, a... Oh, no! Oh, no. We... Was I too slow? Possibly. Damn it. Damn it, game! Game! What if, I, what if I light this? I have a lighter! Activate lighter! Go light... Shoot. Damn it. You're supposed to say flame on. Flame on! Didn't work. Shoot. Don't forget to check in with the clock. Yeah, I know. I won't. Where is the clock? Down here? Nope. What? All right. That's Where's the closest one? Wasn't there one back at the beginning of this area? Yeah. Yeah, let me run back. I mean, it was. But now it has moved. Mm. Shoot. Oh, wait. Nope, that's not the clock anymore. Uh huh. Poop. Weird. So it's interesting. I'm conflicted because on one hand I'm like, oh, I want to solve the mystery of this game. Right. But on the other hand, it's like, rush through so you don't get closed off of things. Time is running out. Yeah. I'm, I have to find the clock. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, friend. Oh, this is bad news. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Yeah. Shoot! Go. Uh-oh. Here comes the spooky music. Go, 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 go. Oh, recover your stamina. Go, 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 go. There. Great. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I'm still there. Nothing new up here. Right? It must be something down here. Because the game hasn't really been expecting us to, like, significantly backtrack. Right. What am I missing? I wonder if there's, like, a way out of that gate. Yeah, like it is. A, it's break it down with my face! Like a, uh, if you can find a, a key. A key or something, right? Yeah. You would think it would, like, say, I can't open this now or something like that, though. Yeah, possibly. It's also weird that, like, these I can't... I can't do anything with, even though they look like they're fairly open. Wakeland City. Bunch of random gobbledygook. We already read Maybe that. Maybe we lost already. Tell us in the chat if we need to just <laughs> let the time run out. <laughs> let me in! Right? What is this? This is so strange. Maybe I have to go all the way back. People are saying go back to the normal world, maybe. But have we found like we a found rune to use other than that one at the beginning? Yeah, it's only when you listen to audio logs. Although I guess we listen to the radio. Yeah, maybe. But that doesn't really 
Does strike me as an audio there? log. I don't see one. I'm not seeing any runes. <laughs> Weird. Oh wait. Oh. Wait a minute. What? What? How how did we walk past this so many times and not see this? Weird. Uh. Weird. Okay, great. Check my inventory. Press I. That was an I, right? Oh, it's just my lighter. Oh, aha, clock. I found you. Like an hour later. <laughs> the Thorn Nation. Where my Thorn Nation at? Okay. So I can go. Oh God! Jeez, that was un what? It was unexpected, Jason. <laughs> it was very unexpected. Okay. It was very spooky. Did you? I bet you didn't expect it to happen. Like, I didn't some... expect it to happen. I internalized the jump. You're so brave. I I felt it on the inside. Again, I my love... hairy heart jumped a little bit. My uh, my hairy heart too. You and I need to get that checked out. <laughs> Cassandra Noble. Okay, so this one's a number lock. I'd also, why can't I use my lighter anymore? I wanna keep using my lighter. Like the candles. When I see unlit candles in a game, clearly what you have to do is light said candles. It's not safe. To unlock, you gotta unlock. You can't just walk around lighting candles. Zelda has taught me that unlit candles, remember their names. Nailed thorn. Oh. I should have known he'd try to get involved. He doesn't even know Wyatt. He just can't leave us alone. He has to interfere. Oh. Roscoe? Like Hello. You need me, Caleb? Yes, I want you to find this man. Why this guy? Because it's your job and we're paying you. Not right now. This is too much. Roscoe! Roscoe! He killed your sister. Hmm. There's a lot going on in this game. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff you gotta keep track of. A lot of plot points kicking around. Nova Ward, Wakeland City, British Columbia, Canada. Okay, so Hale is formerly Precipice, huh? I don't know. Okay, so that's kind of like an org organizational chart, it looks like. I guess so, yeah. For the hospital? Where'd all my doll friends go? I wanted more dolls to play with. Uh, weird. You as a child too, right? The librarian is an anomaly. Wow. I mean, she might be a little quiet or a little awkward, but calling her an anomaly seems a bit harsh, guys. Like, don't no. There's no need to be rude. Maybe she doesn't have a doll like the rest of them. Oh, I miss you, Madeline. I won't let what happened to you. Wyatt, we will never modify the sorrow virus again, ever. I'm sorry that you're still there, but you're safe. You're comfortable. So she's trapped in the in sorrow virus. virus. Yeah. Check in the I will see you again now that we've completed our research. Why do I bother with this sentimental drivel? It only holds me back. So I'm assuming she's the doll, right? She's the doll that we keep seeing kind of like running away? Yeah, that's what I would assume. She's the one leading you places. Okay, so now I'm in real life. Do I still need to check in with clocks in real life or no? I don't think so. I'm assuming so. not, right? Set them free! Okay, I could go that way, but before I do, let me check out the rest of this office. Now that it's changed. Under the clock, I can check in with it anyway. Yeah, oh no, it doesn't. Huh. Really no, I still need to check in with the clock. clock. Mm -hmm. Huh, that's good to know. That's odd though. Which means that this isn't really reality either. None of it is. Huh. Yes. Ooh, hey. Hello. Probably shouldn't leave this door unlocked, huh? 
for people Maybe like you should organize your files. Right. <laughs> Says yeah. says Captain uh, Desktop I, over here. I know exactly Good job. where all of them are. The, the first to die were the children, save for one, of course. Their teachers thought they were doing the right thing, setting them free from a far greater anguish. That's why there are so very few child anomalies here. If only Cassandra Noble was in school that day, she too could have avoided the suffering she endured. But at least she didn't become an anomaly. Nova Ward would have stopped it all. They kept their eyes on cities nearby tears but refused to interview cities nearby tears okay they kept their eyes on cities nearby tears but refused to intervene when the bear valley tragedy happened then the bear valley tragedy happened when the city was finally abandoned Heil instructed its sister company nova ward to close it off from the world make it inaccessible but after 40 years Heil and nova ward wanted to turn oh my god okay Holy jeez, uh, there's a lot of so a lot of story points, a lot of names, a lot of places, and just a couple of dead bodies. Then, so the anomalies are probably either the dolls or the soulless. Right? I feel yeah. I feel oh hey, yeah. I feel like they are one of the two. The, and the tears are taking are are taking us. Into the. Oh my gosh, now ghosts exist too! There's ghosts and soulless and Novacore! Dolls! So, throw, the game's throwing a lot at us. Yeah, it is. Uh, I so, feel like I need spark notes to keep track. <laughs> right, I, I, right, I need to like do some like mind mapping right now or, or something. <laughs> like, like how they recommend you write your essays. So just Smith says, and Windigos. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Windigos happen. What? Where'd the Windigos happen? It's like an episode of American Horror Story. Where they're like, there's there's the there's the evil scientists, Ooh, and then there's the aliens. The, you missed it. What? There was a shadow or something that just creeped across the front of that. Go, oh my god! It was probably it went to the left. Great, thanks. There's the scientists, and then there's the the satanic possession, and then there's the mummy creature, and then wait, there's Nazis, and then the serial killer Santa Claus. That is a typical season of American Horror Story. And it's all happening to a cult in the middle of the apocalypse. Welcome. Storytelling. Got a lot of Pac-Man. People gotta start and be better about open ooh. People gotta be better at about about opening, opening their packages. packages, man. You can't let those hang. Some of those are timely. Could be an animal in there. Ooh. Or a cake. Or a cake. Or a soulless anomaly that came in through a tear. Or a fan. There's a lot of fans around. The worst thing is knowing that even wow, that's if creepy. I were brave enough to put you out of your misery, the sorrow virus would just keep bringing you back, making you endure this suffering over and over again. I'd get you out of here if I could, but I, I, I cannot do it alone. Your cousin will be here soon. Hold on. Just hold on. Okay. Once more into the breach. Those are always the same rooms, though, right? It seems like it. Yeah. That's what. I, yeah. Huh. Nope. Still go. Nope. So we've only found one so far, possibly two. Wait, how many different versions of this room am I flipping between? Okay, so this is normal room. Mm-hmm. Right, and then now this is transformed room. Okay, so there's two. Just felt like I kept having to flip between them. Interesting. It's weird though, because I felt like I was in the real world before, but I guess not. Or maybe the real world and the sorrow virus world are one and the same. Could 
Now I feel like you hopped back in. Wait, this is pretty real. Oh, oh, why? You go, why'd you go and smack me in the face with the door? <laughs> Unacceptable. That was just uncalled for. All you need is denial. Is no, Daniel. Well, it's Daniel. All you need is Daniel. But Daniel do you think it's supposed to need. be denial? No, I think it's about. Well, maybe it's why uh, all you need is Daniel. Why does that make sense? Because Daniel's a great guy, Jason. Mm. Have you met Daniel? We haven't even heard about Daniel yet. You so. know, remember his name. Oh, there was a oh, ladder there's there. there's a ladder, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> why are you going so low? <laughs> Following the path of Daniel into the into the sewer system for some reason. Where they thought it was appropriate to keep a bunch of files. I would say water damage is a very real thing, friends. Again, and guess what? The insurance company will not help you pay for that damage. So, you know, just be careful. Pro tip from me. I think the wall says hide. This is also not a respectable way to keep your Canadian flag. Maybe they have different rules up there in Canada. Nowhere to hide. Wow. You're close. <laughs> you might have been able to hide, but you when you get to Wakeland City, you must absolutely leave the dolls alone. They do not matter, and they are inconsequential. Your priority is, is to, to find the, the sorrow virus. We are so sorry that we can't we're messing with the we needed here. Right. You are the okay. only one other than ourselves who knows how to find the sorrow virus. Are you kidding me? Come on. There's so many damn locked doors. Why are there so many locked doors? Oh, the clock's running out. There's We've made it so far in now, though. Oh, I don't no. want to die now. Right? I don't either. Oh. Help us out. Hey. Give us a clock. Doesn't <laughs> even have to be a just, grandfather one. Yeah, Maybe ju just a watch? Just, just squeeze the grandfather clock in between the grating. That would be great. Being. Exit. Being alive. Yeah, I know time I'm working. If, if not if, if a damn door would open just somewhere. Just any door. Any door will do. Oh, I'm so dead. Did you get up there? No. Oh, that's bad news. Oh no. Come on, show me a clock. Go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. You left us. Wait, hold up. That that seems seven. Oh wait, we're getting a code. Seven two. Seven two. 728, 728 something, where's the clock? Show me a clock, love a clock. Uh, 728. It's pointing out that door, can you go through? Oh yeah, good one. Oh, that's the code. Oh, it's the code, 728 something. Not poop. Oh, oh, where's the, where's the number? It's not a number, do it. It's gonna die. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, I might as well take this opportunity to start reading this thing. Wherever it was. Wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Joshua flew to the north. Madeline was abandoned in the west. Wendy perished northwest, southeast. Okay, so here's the, here's this. So, so the north. pillar is north. So oh, two, okay. Two is on the north wall. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, right, yeah! So, yay! We're at a save point! Okay, north, so. Eight? Eight. West is this guy? Eight. We don't know west. Where's west? Is there something on this pillar here? Huh. Right, I'm not seeing. Oh, right there. Where? Mm, oof. Four. four. Okay. Eight, four, south. Six. six. Eight, four, six, nine. nine. Okay. See, it's a lot easier when you're not running around frantically. Right? Eight, four, six, nine. I like how they did this lock like that where it's all vertical. Because mm -hmm. during escape rooms, <laughs> the hardest thing for me is knowing what the top of the, like, where the lock is supposed to start. Am I it's supposed so true. to start on the key <laughs> end? Am I supposed to start on the hook end? Like, where am I supposed to start? Oh, it says behind you. Well, now you're just lying to me. No, great. So, oh, oh, There's now you give me a clock. Great, thanks. 
field system for radio, shall we? The sorry one is not a person's ailment. Tap on. It merely corrupts their soul, rendering it invalid for passing on to the afterlife when they die, causing them to fall. Aha, you can see. Purgatory is where the Catholicon lies. The Catholicon. The unlimited quantity of microorganisms that envelop themselves around a fallen being, healing many of their ailments. We need to determine an effective method to harvest these microorganisms so that they may heal just as effectively here as they do in poetry. Hmm. So then and only then will I be able to save my son. Even if he doesn't want to be saved anymore. Even if he doesn't want to be saved. I was, I was Great. gonna say that that's that seems Great kind of, parenting. Right, that seems kinda of mean. That's Find a doll, light the candles, hurry, there are no grandfather clocks nearby. Oh no! Well, I found a doll. Boom, got him. Got him. New record. Found him in record time, too. Where's the candles, though? You know. <laughs> there. There, got him. Here we go. Well, it seems like they're already lit, friends. Good. Great. Oh, there's like notebook paper and stuff. Oh, this looks like an important thing to stand on. Does it? I think it's just like Just well lit. Okay, yeah. great. Notebook. Wyatt, I can't leave them again. Not again. I need to find a doll and light the candles. I have to hurry. I'm losing my grip on purgatory and there are no grandfather clocks nearby. Well, maybe you shouldn't waste time writing in your little journal, friend. So do we just stand there or is there more Hello. dolls and... Set them free. I'm... I'm Doing my best, doing doing my part, being a part of the solution and not the problem. Hey, there's another rune. Right. Okay. So I think what's going to end up happening, right, is you go through this game and you see these. Oh, there's another one. And you that see might... these runes, and then I think what you're ultimately going to, tr like, what the ultimate At ending the very of this game is, try and put is them in. yeah, you need to yeah. collect the runes through your journey the first time through, and that eventually, there we go. There it was. And that eventually, you'll unlock whatever like the the true ending is. Right. Or you're making it harder for yourself. Find a doll, light the candles. I, I, I. What? Why am I making it harder for myself? Here, here's candles. I think it, it thinks you're looking around. Yeah, I am looking around. What? Spoiler alert! Totally. You gotta I'm looking find around. the doll first. Oh. There's another rune. There we go. Got him. Okay, found found the doll. Would love to light these candles. I know your lighter ran out. I uh, did it. <laughs> okay, there. No. Light the candles. Is it in an Is order? Is oh oh here we go. Okay, small. Let's try small first. It's a puzzle. I did not want that one. Okay. The small's not first. It's from oh, this it's left. it's from that one first. Okay, so it's so shortest, shortest white, white, longest red, good one, mm, middle white, middle white, shortest red, then next one, then red, and then tall, good yep. one. There we go. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, we figured out a puzzle. Oh, notebook. Read it quickly. No, stop it. Come on, you can do this. You've been to purgatory so many times. I need to find a doll and light the candles. I, I did. I did that thing you told me to do. I'm to right. the clock. Left now. I think there's a hallway. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Not yet. Oh, hey, found you. Hey, come back. Hey. Hey. Poor souls. Oh, hello. I just want to go home. Please. Please just let me make it. Make it home. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Go. Run. Sprint. Oh, my stamina meter is worse than in Skyward Sword. Okay. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Nothing exciting. Okay, great. Uh-huh. Find two dolls, find six red candles, you're nearly there. Jeez. Ryan, find 
two dials. Here's one. One. And the candle. Can I light the candle? That one's lit. It's totally lit, fam. And I think you can. Oh, they're so dead. Oh, they, oh, 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 they are oh, they're, lit. They're, okay. oh, oh, why would you change up the rules of the game, game? You've established the rules to... We're dead. You find will automatically be transferred to their stands. Again, you know, Oh, reach! Reach over the barricade! Three. Ah, spooky choral music! Find the notes! Am I allowed down here? Nope. Gate. Gate. Oh, if only I could sprint slightly faster than... I'm like able to take three steps and then I'm like tired out. I'm like, ugh! Well, actually, I'm doing pretty good this time. There. There's one. No. And, and I just got exhausted. Oh, I pulled a hamstring! <laughs> so I'm assuming we gotta do this whole section again? Yeah. All right. Alright. Here we go. Ready? Yep. There. Don't read anything. Yeah, don't, right? Which is, I don't know. That's kind of a bummer, honestly. Did you get the doll? Where is he? He was right when you walked. No, oh, there he is. There, it's slightly different, places. I guess, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, this is the second one. Okay. Like this one, like this one, and then the third one's over here. Boom, okay. I'm gonna read this just so I can collect it. Okay. It's collected, great. Move on. Right, also, if they were concerned about me doing multiple of these puzzles. Okay, so second shortest red. So this is the same puzzle it looks like. Tallest white. No, but it's changed. It's slightly different, right? Tallest white. Uh, tallest tallest red. red. Shortest red. Shortest red, yeah. Then In order. And then order. Great, okay. Two. Where's my little... Shoot, I want to collect my paper. Put my paper, there we go. Great, grandfather clock appears. Run, run, run. Not yet. Let's listen to her. Probably the girl I ended up killing. Great, fantastic. Crouch, <laughs> crouch, go, go. <laughs> what? The odd uh, Gracie Ray. Matthew Patrick, you must play Hello Neighbor. <laughs> and the whole bunch of exclamation points. Why? why, why? I, th I think if you missed it, we played a lot of Hello Neighbor. Never heard of that game. <laughs> <laughs> Never. What? Hello, hello who now? Hello what's it? <laughs> hello Neighbor. Is this a, this a new release? Yep, new release. Wow. New this year. Wow, no way. Sounds, sounds great. What's the, what's the, what's the concept? Um, I believe you just go over to your neighbor's house um, introduce yourself because you're new to the neighborhood. So that sounds Sit great. down, have tea. Oh. It's like a little like oh, introductory oh, type oh, thing. Think like Sims, but instead of like a whole bunch of people that you're like controlling the lives of, yeah. it's really just you your, your avatar and your neighbor. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. it sounds totally amazing. You got a little plumb bob over your head and everything, I think. Right? That's what that's called, a plumb bob? <laughs> The thing in the Sims. Yeah. Oh yeah, the classic plumb bob. Let me check this. I'm gonna yeah. check this. Oh yeah, this. Total, total plumb bob. I'm all about that plumb bob. Sims plumb bob. Mmm. Look at that. I, I don't have time. It's I'm busy finding bob. all the candles <laughs> and the two dolls. I figured dolls. it'd be too easy with you going in speed mode, so I should try and distract you with images Thanks. on my computer. You would think that, but these dolls, or dowels. Dowels. Dowels are very well, <laughs> they're very well hidden because it's very dark in this basement. So, you know, I don't want to run the risk. Okay, Hidey ho, neighbor. I'm nearly there, I can feed myself regaining control over my surroundings. I need to find two dolls and six red candles. Yep, that's what, that's that's what, what you're doing right that's now, right? The, that's what the overlay did. I found my six candles and I just need my second dowel. There he is. I forget to check in with the clock. It is. Good, got him. Go. Now what? Right? Wait, am I still missing a candle? Poop! I'm still missing a candle. Alright, I need one more candle. Shoot! Go, go, go! Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Yes! 
did it. What happened? I don't know. I unlocked something. So here's my here's my thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I found the six candles. I got my little bell tone. Where can I go to? Come on, game. Oh my gosh, where? Where do I go to now? Do we see this closed one? Door this one. Door. Yep, that way. There we yep. go. Great. Time is running out. Yeah, if, maybe if this transition would happen faster. Go, go, go. Oh, there it is. Go, go, run. Go, 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 go. Yeah, got it. Behind you. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm in a house. Spooky house. Bonnet the theorist is so right. Do video games have some sort of obsession with athletically unfit protagonists? <laughs> like, when was the last time we played as someone who could actually run? Right? I miss those days, man, where, like, the protagonist was like, you know what? I'm prepared for the task at hand. Mm -hmm. I got it under control. I've been training for this my whole life. None of this, like, take three steps and call me in the morning. Like, whoo, man, that, I am so winded. Here we go. Set them free, Wyatt. Here, set Wyatt free. That's me. I'm gonna set myself free. There we go. Hey. Oh, hello. Hi. Yes. Oh, let's oh, let's hug. Hugger. Hugger. Yeah. Hey, Wyatt. You're up and down now. Oh, she was so happy to hang out with me. Cool. Great, I'm happy that you joined me. Oh god, what the heck? What? I was on it. You, you look at me as though it's like, oh, why, 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 would, why would I hear? Hey. Sorry, I was going through the door that used to be there and then apparently wasn't, but is again. No, I understand. And you wonder. And I jumped too. Just inside. A single injury, like a count from a paranormal entity, and you're doomed. It's your body, turning you into one of the anomalies when you die. Great. These zombies, these ghosts, are merely mindless entities who suffer from constant fear and the need to kill everything they see. Oh, no big deal. They're the only things that can live without a soul. Great. They are the only things that can live. Alright, great. I'm gonna learn how to fly high. Fame! Should I have gone upstairs? Seems like we're progressing into a new section. Maybe I should have, here before I go, let me make sure that there is nothing <laughs> up these stairs. <laughs> I cannot get up these stairs, okay, great. Thanks, Faceless. Confirmed. Um, please, someone, for the love of God, tell MatPad to stop walking into walls. Some of them, due to a known bug, have no collisions, and he will fall through the world. It's being patched super soon. <laughs> <laughs> so just be careful. Guys, it's not my fault. What? Guess what? Guess what, friends? The walls are literally popping like... The whole... The, 90% of this game's gameplay is turn around, suddenly something is different, and a wall is no longer a wall. Hey, this is just the game just, letting just you know say. that, hey, you, like, we appreciate that you're playing and showing this, but we're aware of a problem. Just try sure. and be cautious. There's a lot of stuff that I'm running into. There's just a lot of stuff. Preparing a ritual zone. Okay, we're preparing a ritual zone. Require some equipment beforehand. You need to find a set of unlit candles, a paint can. Are you writing this down? Unlit candles, paint it's can, right sigils, and symbols book. These will be your all you need to formulate it. Just in case the zone is locked, you may need to find a key to ensure that you can enter the appropriate area. When you found all of those things, come back here. Once the ritual zone sigil has been painted and the candles lit, you'll be ready to be to set the trapped souls free from the dolls that are there around the Wakeland City. It's important you set them free. They're what's plaguing the city. <laughs> not not the undead, like, unversed soulless creatures. It's the dolls, the living dolls. Those are the things that are really plaguing the city, albeit unintentionally. Souls aren't meant to remain within their body. When their body has died, they're meant to pass on to the afterlife. When they linger for too long, souls start emanating a tremendous, na tremendously nauseating effect on their surroundings. They're the reason why no life wanders in Wakeland City, aside from Elijah's f three, the, 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 the Elijah's right. three ravens. So okay. I got our list. Here. So here's candles. I would love to pick up these candles and just blow them out. 
right. And thus I would have collected my unlit candles, but apparently that is not an option. Okay, so we need candles. I picked up a faulty flashlight. We need candles. Dolls. Yes. Or dowels. Chicken nuggets and monster melon cards. Oh, wait. Chicken nuggets and can oh, hey. sigils and symbols book. Oh, hey, hey, get out of here. They're just partying. But I didn't really think Oh! Well, these are an they're the anomalies. Well, I'm an anomaly now. These anomalies disintegrate any living tissue they come into contact with. Avoid them as best as possible. Remember, their skin burns you. Great. Well, I became an anomaly now, so that's cool. One of us. One of us. One of us. Google gobble. So do they like chase after me? What what is this? Okay, picked up the old key. Oh, do they God. move? Yeah, they they're move? like the they're like the the angels. It looks like the weeping angels. Okay, hold up. Oh no. Hey, there's the doll. Can I can I grab the doll? Can I? I would like to grab the doll. Okay, the doll seems unconcerned with me picking it up. So that's... Ooh, so you hey, gotta be on the other side. Check out butt. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's this guy. Where's this doll? Come on. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that just suddenly became. What? what? Oh, okay. I'm gonna just pick up whatever this... Sleeping bag? Yeah. Sleeping bag was not part of the required mm -hmm. requirements, but you know what? I'm gonna grab it anyway, because you can never have enough sleeping bag material. Seems like we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's a hole in the ground. I'm gonna. Nope, apparently not. That was a complete lie. Hmm. Man, if only I could find like a replacement battery pack. For the flashlight! <laughs> That'd be awesome! Alright. Uh, so there's candles. I would like those candles. They seem unlit. I'm gonna go for them. Are they lit? Apparently, lit? apparently they are lit candles, so never mind. Psyched you out! Haha! -ha. Fooled you. Hmm. Okay. Going this way around this guy. Oh, there's a doll. Again, don't know if I can grab him. I think you just walked Walk past him. Whoa, oh, what's that? Like... Shovel? Yeah. Can I... I don't need a shovel, but I would, wouldn't would mind having one. Nope. I cannot Can't grab the it. shovel. It is sad. I could smack some of these soulless monsters. That'd be there's cool. There's a box over there, too. Oh, come on. Come on, Plague Man. Come on, Dr. Totore. No? I, I'm i right under like, him, so... Do you so. just walk through them and get him? Because the other one disappeared, right? He did seem to dis... I mean, unless I just walked completely past him. Oh, man! It would be stellar to have this flashlight work just slightly... Slightly more... For Effectively. What is all this stuff that's happening behind me at any given point in time? Okay, th so this is his back, right? Okay. Alright, so this... Again, these candles look like they are unlit, so I'm gonna grab these. Are they lit? Uh, apparently they're lit as soon as I get up close to them. Hmm... This is oh don't you don't you dare tell me to check the damn us. clock. Here we go. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. So I got the key here. Okay. Check my clock. There's another doll right in front of the soulless. I I'd love to grab you, but I cannot. So I, I'm assuming I must not need to grab the dolls. That doesn't seem right, though. Chris, you've watched a playthrough of this game. What's your opinion? I think once you are up close to them, because you haven't seen repeat dolls in this area, right? No, I haven't seen any repeats. So I think once you kind of like are on top of them. But I've been really close to them multiple times, it feels like. I'm, I'm like right there. But then that one disappeared. 
right? That first one. I, you did it? Oh. This one. Go. <laughs> did he go? Did he disappear? Is he in my inventory now or what? No, he's still there. See, that's... I'm kind of confused. Shoot! We're making somewhat decent progress, and now we've hit a roadblock. And that roadblock is a dark cavern with a crappy lighting system. Okay, so these guys are still hanging out over there. So I'm, I'm checking chat and Twitter to see if anybody has any like suggestions on this, but I'm not getting, I'm not getting much. Okay. And again, like. Ooh, there's a there's a dead there's just a body. Found a dead body. How's that? Bonus points. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> yeah, achievement unlocked. That wasn't part of my like summoning necessities, but I got him. Just I'm just like the hoarder of this game. You know, got my my shovel, got my faulty flashlight. I'm just gonna carry the grandfather clock around with me because Lord that knows. Would be smart. Right? Can't be that heavy, right? Actually, grandfather clocks are enormously heavy. Come on. Oh, come on, flashlight. Please, flashlight. Uh. Okay, well, what's, what's this? What's down here? Found a, a rice cooker. <laughs> Me and my rice cooker. My little, my little grill. Ooh, my little camping set. <laughs> so weird. What is all this? This is so odd. I found my candles. Found more of my candles. Man, okay. I'm told, so did you find, sorry, I've been like looking through the chat. I forget to check in with the clock. find any dolls yet? I, I mean, I found, technically I've seen a bunch of them hanging from the right, ceiling. Right, just the hanging. So, some, um, so William Bodge says the doll will be on the ground. Oh. Um, oh, so you have to look below the hanging doll? Oh, maybe. No, I've been looking at the ground a lot, okay. so I don't think that's it. And I, I found the one doll earlier. I grabbed her, and I'm, she, I'm cuddling with her Did you find now. the sigils book yet? It should be on the ground around here somewhere, too. Really? Seeing. So I have a key. All I have is a key, and that looks like an unlit candle. Right there. I'd it's love to else. pick up the candle. I have to find a clock. Look, right there. Those are candles yep. that are unlit, right? Are correct. Just calling them like a, give me, give me the candle. Or oh, the no, cans, are the cans? Oh, can. canned goods! Foiled by canned goods! Well, you need cans of paint, that might be those. Um, it does say the white candles by the tent are on that. Maybe they just, they smell the cans as well. Uh, I'm gonna die anyway, cause the spooky music has started. Oh, wait there. Are those, yeah, candles. Ah, oh, poop. I finally find something and I'm gonna die. Damn it. Ugh. Wait, where's the clock? No! I have died, Jason. Yeah. I, I passed out. Time was not on my side. You needed that clock with you. Time wasn't on my side. Oh, but I get to keep the candles at least. Look, oh, and yay. the key, that's great. Oh, that's super, super helpful. Nope, apparently not. Oh, these are the things that I, what? I'm confused what's going on you in my inventory right now. I... Oh, I guess oh, they no, disappeared. Don't. Those are the things you needed. Poop. Uh, so, so check see, the ground real quick. So the, there's the doll, right? Yep. Right, and the flashlight. the flashlight is a big bummer. Yeah. I get why they want it. To work this way, but I would disagree mm -hmm. with. Well, I, and that's a lot of the comments are like about the flashlight also being like frustrating or hard to watch or things like that. Yeah, it's 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 tough. 
You think it's you think it's frustrating to I'm assuming I can crash under no. Nope. Trust me, I am right there with you, friendos. This is not Ugh. It's it is really tough to work with. Like I get that you wanted to create kind of like a maze sequence that took a little bit longer to, to do, but I mean just searching kind of like a confusing dark maze is already kind of like trial enough as is. Mm -hmm. Then to also have to like take just a couple steps and like, w hey, ghost mm -hmm. creature, that's spooky. I'm gonna talk to you. Hello. Nope, apparently not. All right, you're just you're just a ghost on a stand. All right. Oh, and it takes huh. so long for it to recharge every time. But this can of paint. Cupcakers. Paint can. Woo! All right. So we need a book is the last thing, right? Book. Looking for the book. The sigil book? Yeah, the sigil book. Signs and... Oh, hey. I don't know what that is. I'm alarmed by that. That's interesting. So, where'd that go? Apparently... People have been saying they figured out Nailed Thorn. And I just saw from Cupcakers, Nailed Thorn equals Daniel North. Oh, we have that's that Daniel sign. Daniel. I wonder. I believe that. That makes yeah. sense to me. See, Daniel. I told you, Daniel's a good guy. Here you were, doubting Daniel. I thought it was going to be denial. Oh, you just thought it was a misspelling. No, I thought it was, well, I mean like a purposeful misspelling to like make you think. <laughs> to, make, to make you think about how to properly spell the word. No, we're talking about purgatory here. We're talking about Wait, ghosts. Wait, what's this? It's a sign. Shoot! Danger. Oh my god. Oh, come on! Where's the stamp book? It'll be in the, the middle of three candles, or at least in the place where it's actually. Oh, damn it. Oh. I'm hoping that because I I'm hoping that because I touch the clock, I get to keep my items. It's unclear whether. Okay. Nope! Come on, no. What's the key for, by the way? Like, I haven't needed a key yet, really. Was there any locked oh, drawers no. or anything in here? Uh-uh, I don't think so. Candles. Yeah, but that's not. Okay, there's the candles right there. Okay, good. Candles. The paint can was somewhere around the tent. Is everything inside the middle of candles or no? Because the key was in, uh, like surrounded by the candles. The candles you just picked up were surrounded by the candles. Shoot, where was that paint can? It was, it was, it felt like it was near the tent before. It might change. It might be randomized. Yep. Uh, oh, come on, come on. Hello, spookies. I don't think there's any way through all this, is there? This doesn't look safe. None of that looks... Oh, wait, oh no, was that a paint can? Yep. That looks like paint. Oh no, and it's flashing. I go around. Which means, yeah, let's go behind him. Go this way. Okay, found a box. Watch out for his butt. Yeah. Watch out for his fiery butt. There we go. Okay. Paint can. Nice. Hey, Look at us. We're, we're, getting, we're getting the hang of this. Losing. Getting the hang of this, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna beat the, I'm assuming this is like, gotta be close to the final challenge of the game, right? This feels like a climactic, like final, especially like setting the souls free and all this stuff. Oh, what's that? What do we got ahead? Oh my God. It's just so slow. Oh. Especially when you're also on a timer. Oh, oh, hey, that guy is just hanging out over there. He's having a grand old time, isn't he? Wait a minute. Okay. Man. Someone needs to invest in a mag light or something. 
think it might be it might be this way actually. So that's the box. This is towards nothing. Oh god, I don't know which way to go. It's just like a bunch of darkness. Oh, and there's the clock. Don't forget to check in with the clock. Yeah, I know. I can't forget. It, it doesn't matter if I check in with the clock at this point. I did last time. It didn't work. I lost my progress anyway. Hey, Ali. Ali. I know. I'm wrapping things up, Ali. I know. Coming. Oh, if, I, if only my flashlight would work a little bit more effectively, Ali. Gosh, come on. It's so slow. Here we go. Especially he, this section of the level is just so dark. Like, it's... Man, this game is brutal when you've got a headache. I just want you to know that. <laughs> yeah? You having a hard time here right now, Jason? Time is running out. I have to find the clock. Have to find a book. Forget the clock. Love to find a book. I'm also really confused as to where I've been and where I haven't Wait. been. Oh, I'm back at the tents. Am I? How do I get back is at the tents? The clock near there, though, at least. The clock is this way, if I remember. So there's my little, there's my little grill. Oh, we're so dead. All right. This is where you started. Yeah, this is where we start. So did you start by the clock? There it is. Yeah, I just had to find it. I knew I was close to it. Boom! Maybe the book's back did, here. Maybe in an ironic you twist. Hold it long enough? What? Oh, there we go. No, I did. It, it was it, still making No, it. Yeah, there. I know. It takes it takes a while for the clock to be to sound normal again. Yeah. All right, we're going until. Okay. Right, I know. Or can I, I wish I could just drop off the things I've collected at this point. You know, th th what this reminds me of, it reminds me of, again, back when my parents were preparing for Y2K, and we bought a... A, a lot of dolls and demons hanging around no, your place? No, no, not a lot of dolls and demons, but we did buy a flashlight that functioned from shaking and cranking. And so I was, oh. you know, you say that, but just think, if you had a faulty flashlight, Jason, like we do right now, what would you prefer? This flashlight or a flashlight that you shake a bunch in order to, to make work? Well, based off of the fact that this guy gets tired after running like 10 feet. I oh wait, <laughs> hold up. Yes, yes. Okay, do not die. Do not. Oh God, where is it? Now where do you gotta okay, go? Okay, here, this way. Okay, this way. Do not. Okay, so now it was somewhere around here is the way back, I think. Come on. I think I think it's here. Right there's there's the dolls. Dolls. Oh god, where is it? Shoot, I'm so lost. You're at the tent. You're close. I know, but I don't want to go deeper into things. I think it's this way. Rainbow. No, this is the wrong way. Shoot! <laughs> Tent. Oh, don't get hit by that guy. He's right there. Okay, ten. Okay, there. Yep, yep okay. Okay. This is accurate. Okay. I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. No, this is the way you went. Right? I know. It just feels off for some reason. Oh, Lord. Desk, okay, wait. Right? Is that the desk? I think so. Yes, okay. So go to the dolls. Okay, here we go. I don't forget to check in with the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might want to do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Okay, go, go around it, go around it. Good, good, oh my gosh, please. Good. Okay, then it said come back here, right? Didn't it say come back here? Uh, do you have that piece of paper? The piece of paper, wait, oh, here we go. Here, right, here? What? Uh, 
Uh huh. Mm. Where was the ritual? The bulb in my flashlight has burned out. <laughs> you know, it was already pretty much there anyway. Nothing Ritual's big lost. Okay, ritual so zone. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Come on, game. The ritual zone sigil will allow anyone trapped souls. Okay, free from an unnatural or unliving vessel. When it comes to the dolls, they must be placed in the middle of the symbol. Once the candles have been placed on their stands and lit, the soul is ready to be freed. Wakeland City has two ritual zone symbols. One of them doesn't work. Oh, God. It, oh, are you kidding me? It destroys the souls instead. I can only pray that you discover the correct one. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All of these poor souls in Wakelet City, their bodies are now one of the eyes wearing away, so they can no longer move. Nature can be cruel, but supernatural nature is far crueler. Anomalies are a dormant threat, lingering behind the scenes, waiting to arise. Once they're awake, our world will fall dark for an unimaginably long grade. Well, here we go. There's two of them. It's a coin flip. I should place the doll inside of the ritual zone. Great. Thanks. Then light the candles. Light the candle. I don't think the lights there should be candles. Here, I'm gonna... There you go, save. Thanks. Go. Candle. Candle. This is gonna be the wrong one, by the way. Yeah, I, I know. Right? I, gu I, I guarantee know. that this is the wrong one. I already uh, know. Well... What it was fun, care? you know. This was... is not us. <laughs> this it's is a doll. This, this is. A... <laughs> this... Uh oh. Please, come on. What? Come on. The the. Did you start over there? I did. Oh. The aim to there we go. So I've placed them all. Ooh, what's this? Right, isn't it weird that she's on this? Why are you why are you flashing? Oh, you just flashed that. That's cool. Okay, now I gotta go around and light. Light them. Light them. There we go. It's very precise. There we go. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Did I get them all? Yes. You so? Now what? Hey, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Yay! You're well. Not even a. We you're welcome. We, right we know in our hearts. Yeah. Jason, we know in our hearts that we got the right one. Maybe the book lied about there being two. <laughs> Maybe. Fun. Maybe that's for the full release. I'm just. Gonna follow this path apparently. <laughs> like, all right, I'm good. I'm all done here. We're we're all set. It is super dark. I cannot see what's going on anymore. Shoot. But really, it's it's a bit too dark. I can't really see. It's gotten really dark now. Wanderers here. No life wanderers here. Hello. So I'm back here. Hmm. Is, uh, are we just oh, okay. here? All right. I would love some light because this is really dark. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Is this the right way? I need a brighter light. Exit. Here's an exit. I might need a bright. Oh no! Here we go. Woo! Heart. Nowhere to hide. Where the winged ones point. Squirmy. All right, someone's got to deal with this worm problem or something, man. This is, this is bad news. 
Here we go. Oh, we're back to the beginning. Are we put the code in now? Maybe. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. Wait. Hmm. hmm. This is telling me to go this way, but there's a door that's saying go towards the light. I f Ooh, hey, journal entry. They obstruct the truth behind their dull, lifeless eyes. Stare, turn, stare again. Oh, let's look at some dolls, shall we? Souls, poor souls. No? I thought I was going to get jump scared by another doll again. Man, we got a, we got a, we got a, got a really bad worm problem here. These plants are growing out of control at this point. All right, I guess I'm gonna go through the door. Proceed into the light. Let's just free ourselves, leave the other souls behind. Goodbye! Peace out! One of four endings, which we know because we actually watched the beginning of the game. Peace out! Everyone! This does not sound like the happy-go-lucky true ending music that we were looking for. It sounds like sad. You made the wrong choices with your life music. Wyatt lives once again in the land of the living, doomed to repeat an endless cycle as a test subject, succumbing over and over to the plight of cancer. I would say that this was maybe not the happy ending. Probably. Our darling son, our magnum opus. That's a great ride. <laughs> Poop. Well, uh, the end. Hey, an ending. An ending. You did. For forever. Ending. Forever. I, and you know what? Never again. Never end. That's ending number one. Woo. You know what? We did it in order. One. <laughs> like us, number one. <laughs> Woo. Number one. Congratulations, us. We did it. Yay. That was really hard. Uh, that that one section was really hard. You know what else was really hard? Getting it started, guys. <laughs> Just Getting the, the video game started? Yeah. It was. The <laughs> TriCaster was not cooperating <laughs> with the, the video game. I know. Game. It happens sometimes with the indie <laughs> stuff. So anyway, uh, I have to run because Ali and Steph are waiting uh, for us to return back to our now mold-free but completely decimated house. Um... So this was the sorrow virus. If you want to help find the other three endings that we haven't found, mm -hmm. there you go. It is a faceless short story, a, a story that will be completed in a full length game, uh -huh. as we all know and are very familiar with. Um, yeah, if I were if I were to offer suggestions, I think like that last section is just too frustrating. It's the like flashlight. the flashlight's a, a, a trick. Like I think there are ways that you can find to increase the difficulty of that final puzzle, if you really want to, but I don't think you need to, really. Like, I think mm -hmm. this whole game, you don't really need to make it more difficult than it currently is. Like, no. it's not a difficult game, per se. It's more a, a story that you're trying to piece together. Um, and so to suddenly throw in kind of this this kind of like very weak flashlight that has a very limited capability, mm -hmm. it's really, really tough. Um, and it kind of breaks the immersive flow of what of the story that you're trying to tell. So that would be my advice. Uh, but yeah, some interesting already, ideas. You already have like the clock mechanic working in that zone. I feel like if you gave a working flashlight and then just like made it a little bit more maze-like, yeah. you'd already have that sense of urgency because, because you're, you're running gonna get against back time. to the clock. Yeah. So I feel I think like that, makes that sense. would be just It'd be the same thing right there, upping the difficulty, but keeping it less frustrating right. for the player. Or you have to collect all of the items within one round of the clock, similar to that earlier right. section yeah, where you yeah, had yeah. to like find the dolls and on, and like the candles. Mm -hmm. That would be my suggestion, because yeah, the the light mechanic is just really frustrating to deal with, yeah. and it's also like everyone was saying, it's it's tough to watch as well. So anyway, uh, suggestions there, but interesting. There's a lot of interesting ideas with this one, and I'd be curious what the other endings kind of play around with. It's yeah. very dense. There's a lot of stuff happening, but it's visually very cool. I like the the different like universe dynamic. I like the way that the story is kind of seeded out and you're piecing it together. I have no clue what Daniel 
I don't is know. Daniel I, North. I'm not really sure where the Daniel North. Right, in, must yeah, be like either. the true ending, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, uh, that is The Sorrow Virus. Check it out uh, to complete all the endings. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with Stephanie for some more tea time, some Woo! more tea series time. Uh, so be there with us. We'd love to have you uh, to talk about all the, all the news that's fit to print, or at least to talk about in digital video. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Be there or not be there, we'll miss you either way. And remember, guys, that is just a stream. A live stream! Let's say goodbye in the chat. Number one hit sugar, sh hit sugar fan says bye, Chris. Zombie. Bye. Right there. Pig woman says bye bye bye. Leanna V says bye bye. Uh.